A standard piston compressor consists of a pump, an air receiver, an electric motor, and a variety of associated electrical and pneumatic controls. In normal operation, the compressor pump compresses the air. The compressed air leaves the compressor pump and enters the aftercooler tube, which leads the air to the air receiver while allowing the air to cool. The compressed air enters the air receiver through the check valve, a one-way valve that allows the compressed air to enter the tank, but prevents the air from flowing back into the compressor pump. The compressed air enters the tank by displacing a small disc in the check valve. There is also a 1 8 inch unloader port located on the top side of the check valve, which simultaneously leads compressed air to the pressure switch with the copper unloader line. When maximum pressure is reached, the contacts located inside the pressure switch open, shutting the motor off and simultaneously pressing down the pressure needle, causing the remaining compressed air between the pressure switch and the compressor pump to purge or blow down. Purging the remaining air in the lines and pump is necessary for the pump to start again. Under normal operation, when the pump is off, the blowdown of the remaining compressed air should take only a matter of seconds. If the bleeding of air continues while the pump is off, either at the side of the pressure switch or at the centrifugal pressure release, or CPR, the probable cause is a malfunctioning or dirty check valve. To inspect the disc and seating area, take the C-clip from the bottom of the check valve. The internal parts of the valve include a brass plug, spring, and the disc. If the valve appears only to be dirty with carbon buildup, washing it with a mild soap may be sufficient. If any part appears damaged, or the seating area where the disc seats inside the valve body appears pitted, replace the valve assembly entirely. This concludes DV Systems' technical support video on check valve malfunction.